third graders how are you today perfect I'm doing great so today we're gonna review our two times table from yesterday but before we get started on that I have a little problem that I need you guys to help me with are you ready perfect so I have three nieces and I want to do something really nice for them this Christmas um well their favorite snack is chocolate chip cookies so I want to give each of my three nieces two cookies each, but I need to figure out how many total cookies I need to bake. So does anyone have any ideas of how I would figure that out? Right, I could use addition. Um, what's that word that we talked about yesterday? Right, multiplication. So here's a little visual for you. I have my three nieces here. I have Kara, Emily, and Jessa, okay? So, I wanna give each of my three nieces two cookies each, okay? So, in order to figure out the total number of cookies, where would we start? Well, Addison said addition. So we could add all the cookies up, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six total cookies right here, okay? And that's also listed down here. But Bryce said that we could use multiplication. So let's try that, okay? So we have three groups of two cookies each, okay? Does everyone see where I got that from? Perfect. So we could use our multiples from yesterday, okay? So we have two, four, six, cookies okay that's how we got our total number of cookies so we multiplied two by three groups okay so there's two cookies times three groups okay and that's also listed right down here so then two plus two plus two is equivalent which means that it's equal to two times three because we have three twos here does everyone see where I got that three from? Okay, perfect. So now that we have that down, I wanna get started on our two times table from yesterday. So can anyone tell me what two times one is? Yeah, exactly. And why is it two? Right, two times one is two because any number times one equals itself. Right, good job. So two times two equals four, right, exactly. Two times three, Billy, right. Two times three is six. Now, now that we have three numbers here, can someone tell me what the pattern is? We talked about this yesterday as well. Right, so just like we mentioned in that example over there, we're just adding the numbers up pretty much, okay? So two plus two equals four. Four plus two, which is our number that we have for the multiples, okay? So four plus two equals six. So then can anyone tell me from this pattern how we're gonna get two times four? Exactly, we're gonna take our product from the last problem, which is six, multiply, or I'm sorry, add it to two, and then we're gonna get eight, okay? Two times five, Sarah, right, 10. All right, moving on, we just have a couple more to go. So we have two times six, yeah, 12. Two times seven, Elizabeth? Okay, so we're just gonna work on that same pattern that we did before, okay? So how did we get from eight to 10? Right, we added two. How about 10 to 12? Added two again, perfect. So two times seven, what would we do to 12 to get the next product? Right, we would add two, so 12 plus two equals 14. Right, exactly. So can you tell me what the next answer would be as well? 2 times 8? 
Yep, 16. Very good job. All right, two more left to go, okay? Two times nine equals 18. Yep, fantastic. Okay, last one, two times 10. Does anyone remember the tens trick? Yeah, perfect, perfect. So we are gonna cover up the zero. Two times one, well, we have that right up here, okay? Two times one equals two. And then we're just gonna add that zero. So it's 20. Great job, third graders. We're gonna move on to our lesson next.